Hey South Florida. Hey South Florida. Hey South Florida. I'm Alexis Malord. I'm Alexis Malord. I'm Alexis Malord with another real estate tip. I'm Alexis Malord with another real estate tip. Hey South Florida, I'm Alexis Millard with another real estate tip. Today we have a special guest who you might recognize from a previous video, our fellow realtor and financial advisor, Ruth. Hi everyone. Welcome to the Oasis. Thank you. So today we are going to be talking about something very, very essential to real estate. We're gonna be talking about credit today. Yay. So Ruth, as a credit repair specialist, tell us about the importance of credit. All right, so these days credit is absolutely vital. You need good credit to, uh, for buying power, for rental power. If you want to start a business, you need to have good credit. And sometimes in some cases, they'll even check your credit for certain job applications. So having good credit is a must. So how do we fix our credit? For fixing your credit, uh, one of the things you want to make sure you do is to look at all the negative items that you might have on your credit report and get those eliminated. So a lot of times we have obsolete cards on our accounts, cards that we opened years ago and aren't using, uh, or sometimes late payments, evictions, things like that. You want to make sure that you dispute those and get those negative items off your credit report. Uh, you can do dispute letters yourself or you can see a credit repair specialist to have them create them for you. But one of the first things you want to do when fixing your credit is First of all, know what the five key components are to establishing credit. So the top three would be your payment history, your utilization, and the length of history, your length of credit. So um, payment history makes up about 35% of your credit. Uh, if you've made late payments and things like that, that'll take, that's the quickest way to bring your credit score down. So if you wanna fix your credit, maybe you can start with uh, definitely eliminating those late payments if you've got them and just start paying on time. Uh, one of the next ways that we can fix our credit is by making sure that your utilization is under 30%. So for example, let's say you've got um, a credit card for $300, you want to make sure that you're not using more than $90. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> not using more than $90. Thank you. So keep your utilization under 30% and then length of history. So that one, a lot of times people feel like, well, what can I do if I've just started my credit? Uh, you can, we'll talk about some tips for how to get your length of history up. Actually, our next question is how yes. do we build credit? All right, so there are several ways to build credit. So one of the easiest ways to build credit is becoming an authorized user on somebody's card. You can either use a family member or a friend uh, that you know has a credit card with a long history, or you can pay someone. Uh, there are different people who uh, will offer their services uh, of credit cards that have long history on them. So. Um, even if you're 18 years old, let's say, you could be an authorized user on a card that's 25 years old, and then automatically that uh, history will be added to your card. And for those of you who might be looking to ask a family member or a friend about it, um, you can let them know that just because you're an authorized user on the card doesn't mean you actually have to use the card. Uh, the second would be by getting secured credit cards. And the third way, which is not very popular, uh, but it is out there is by crediting your rent. So if you didn't know, you can actually get credit on your credit report uh, by paying your rent on time. Wow, okay, so how does one go about getting their rental payments, their on-time payments reflected on their credit report? Well, usually you would have to see a credit repair specialist and they can offer you uh, some sort of package where Okay, um, I have one more question before we get into some of the services that you offer as a credit repair specialist. So, and that would be, do you have to pay collections? Great question. All right, so in many cases don't have to pay collections because the relationship between you and the creditor is between you and the creditor. What happens is the creditors oftentimes when they see that you haven't been making your payments, they'll sell your debt to a third party. You never had a contract with that third party. So technically, you still have the debt, but because you don't have a contract with the, the creditor, in some cases, it's your choice, but you might not need to pay those. And you would be able to go ahead and dispute um, that creditor as well, right? Yes. All right, awesome. You, What do you as a credit repair specialist offer that they can't normally get just fixing their credit on their own? So it's more like when, you're, when you use a credit repair specialist, repair specialist is like 
it's I like to liken it like a manicure so like you could get your own gel polish you could get your own dip polish and do it yourself but someone who's a professional is doing it for you so you're paying for the service not necessarily because they're doing magic that you can't necessarily do on your own okay. so you're just paying them to do it for you in some ways yeah like I mean obviously there's more what's the incentive of paying someone to do it for you that you know it's gonna be done right you're not gonna have you know the messes that you would have normally if you're doing it on your own you'd have a professional who's taking care of it and it's gonna make sure it's taken care of exactly how it is and you said that you um, separately offer different services what might those be um, so things like debt payoff um, budgeting tools uh, preparing for the future like if you have children or families and things like that I'm uh, making sure that you have things in place so that they're well taken care of uh, in any in any event um, identity monitoring which is different from credit monitoring just making sure that your social security number and all your personal information is protected awesome. thank you so much for coming and talking to us about credit will you share with our viewers on here on the Oasis what your social media handles and how they can co contact you most definitely so you can look for me on Instagram as Ruthie Ruth that's R-U-T-H-Y-I-E and you can find me on Facebook with the same name or you can give me a call at 305-297-4781 and I'll be happy to be in touch with you well, there you have it. This has been another wonderful video here on Alexis's South Florida Oasis. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. If you are a buyer, a renter, a seller, or an investor, and you're looking for a real estate professional in the South Florida area, don't hesitate to contact me because you already know I'm happy to help.